Okay. All right, y'all, we're good. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's get it started. <laughs> if anybody needs more backstory explanation, you just let me know. Wait, what's down here? We didn't check this out yet. See, I'll know we gotta check everything. Let me use your power. I forgot we got some levels too. Let's see what we got. We have nine BP? Okay. while performing an aerial weapon combo. Wait, let's look at this. Oh, cool. Let's do it. We still got four more. Nice. That's actually a decent synergy. Okay. Water? Who's the right? Who's the little mouse? He's got no mustache. Gonna brush your teeth down with mommy. Oh, wait, wait, that's the way I came. Go, Yui Tho. <laughs> D 
You need help? Phase step. Oh, so we only got two phases left. God, I'm good. Alexander say boom. I wasn't expecting that. Thanks to my power. 
I can hit it. That's my wall. Oh, we got one more. Going to get burned if I don't do something. I'm not done yet. Let's see if we can burn him while he's down. Oh. Hey, big bad. Boom! Keep it up. He didn't like that. Come on, man. Where's your shirt? No shirts? Just sure it on. I'm going the wrong way. Oops. You know how grumpy you were when you woke up today, little man? You'll be less grumpy when you go to bed now. You'll be way less grumpy when you go to bed now, my smalls. Little horses, let's go. Go, go, go. Everybody? Is everyone okay? 
Ah, oh, I should have saved that. Wait. This way? No, in a minute, right? Yeah. Well, no, because what? Wait, wait, wait. Am I... Hold on. Let's go back that way. Head to the main story. I need your help. Teleport. We won't be able to move forward if we use my power, Yuito. So we have three BP. Is there anything we can buy for three? Automatically picks up nearby items. Use R2 and unlock down any performer. Cyrokinesis attack slam. Okay, we'll work towards this one. And we'll start filling in the brain map on the other side. Um, in the next guy. I mean, when we do Kasane's run. That's what I meant. go. I can hit it! 
Hey. That never gets old. For me, at least. Go, Yuito. Wait, wait, wait. Which way? Um, it must be up. Okay, so that'll re-energize us a little bit. Now what? Uh, this way. <clears throat> a giant orange light just beckoning to us, huh? Let's actually go down here, chat. Let's see what we got. Just these guys. Let me borrow this. You handle this. Now die. Come on. Now, you eat out. Thanks, Arashi. That attack worked. Leave it to me. Can you tell? Oh, hell. Do it, Hope. Damn, I'm getting roasted. 
This is nothing. Here we go. I need to support the injured. Let's regroup. I feel better now. Come on. Here we go. level 50. Alright, take a break for a second here. I just heard a couple messages come in. Let's see what we got. Oh, is that really it? Or is there more to this room? That's the way I came in. Right? Yep, that's the last room. Okay. Do you need help? Max, yeah, we got right. I bet those environments are going to be good for either um, gifts or weapons. Some help, Luca. We'll be able to move forward if we use my power, Yuito. Go, Yuito. Okay. So listen, if you're joining me this Monday night, I just wanted to say welcome. Thank you for choosing me being part of the stream. Now let's get to the end of this level. Let's see what we're up against. Oh, we got a dude. Hey, gal. Take this. Whoa. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Oh. I can hit it. Here we go. Finish it. Thanks, Gemma. <laughs> Gemma's a big boy. She's like, yeah. There you go. how far this thing will take us. Ow! Oh, just the wrong direction, hold on. Oh, we can get another one though. Yeah. I hit the outer shell. I 
think I can break it if I focus my attacks. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes. Oh, we screwed this guy up. That enemy is something, all right. Toasted. That's what that enemy is. Oh, chat, I will be right back, okay? I need to say goodnight to my little man. I'll be right back. All right, thank you all for your patience. Welcome to the channel again. Have a little water. Let's go. Actually, sorry, I need to send one more message before I start back up.
Uh, none of these upgrades. Ooh. No, we don't need any of those. And we can always just do that later. I think my guys are plenty strong right now. So, you need help? Get in there, chat. Getting there fast. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're using our max jelly now. That is more purple. These are all bosses now. Huh? Like all, look at all the things that used to be bosses. I'm 
This guy's been so hard. There we go. Guess I'm stronger. I guess so. Okay. So. Alright, we came out of that relatively. I mean, we still got seven max. Okay. Oh, and we got that there. Perfect. More max jellies. Save it. This game does give you a lot of save opportunities, which is kind of nice. All right, so let's see. Let's see if this is finally going to do it. Let's see if this is finally going to take us up to the moon. Let's see where we're going. I see that bright orange light in front of us. Story time. Wait, is this it? It's got to be. Come on. Don't make me do it. Oh, my God. Another full. Oh, wait. No, it's close. Okay, story time. What is this place? Another one? I think that was bigger than last time. Do you think the Kunad Gate is expanding? We don't have time for chit chat. We need to keep moving. Wait, Wait a, a moment. moment. That voice. Please, Please listen, listen to me. <gasps> Mother? Huh? What? Huh? That's. Your mother, right, Yuito? What is she doing here? And Kasani, what did you just say? This is a vision created by Babe. What an underhanded trick. Wakana was a precious person. She was a successful design children model, and she had the power of the red strings. My mother was one of them? And she is important to both Yuito and Kasane. Wakana took care of Kasane when she was little. I heard she fled from Togetsu after an incident. I thought those Togetsu bastards killed Mother. That's what I remember anyway. So Yuito's mom ran away from Togetsu and then met his dad in Suo? Chairman Sumeragi may have provided refuge to her once he found out she was connected to Togetsu. That is why I thought this form <coughs> would be best to get you to listen. Yuito, Kasane, you must know. This world is in danger of destruction at the hands of the Kunad Gate. It is not only Togetsu. There are many people living in Suo and Seiron, all over New Himuka. To save all of the people who are important to you, I must have your help. Help? Yuito. I apologize for leaving you alone while you were still young. If you come with me now, your loneliness will be cured. Kasane, do you remember that puppy? That little dog was your friend. If nothing is done, everyone will die. All your friends in the world will die just like your puppy. Will you both help me? That's... Connect okay. your minds and become one with me. Use the red strings to save the world. Don't use my mom for your dirty schemes. Mother wouldn't say things like that. You're not fooling anyone. Is that the best a machine can come up with? You've really underestimated these two. A foolish decision. The brain of the Wakana that you love has already been processed and made a part of Oh, me. shit. What did you say? Oh, are human brains being used as organic parts for Babe? So then, that means my mom wasn't attacked by others after all. It was you, Babe. No, Togetsu. You stole my mother's brain. 
All of it was to save the world. What do you mean, save? You're only saving yourselves. You can't sway me with visions of Mother. You don't want us to get any further. I won't let you use my mom anymore. Wait. I will stop, babe. Since when is she the mom to both of them? What? Run, run. The floor is collapsing. Deuces. I'm glad everyone's all right. What is this place? Something feels different. What? The floors again? This is bad. Everyone, run! Sugumi, is there a place we can teleport to? This is the only path. Wait. <sighs> Another is coming. It's big. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> this is like monster on her size. Oh, they're right here. Big smash. <laughs> Floor collapses quickly behind you, so you must keep moving to prevent yourself from falling. Game over if you fall, so you have to use... Dash, jump, and essay is to push forward. Okay. Don't even think about taking that other down. Meaning we have to run away. I can't see the bottom. If we fall, we'll die. What is this? It's ridiculously huge! <laughs> What the hell is this thing doing? Oh boy. Oh! Oh! Oh, there's a mistake. Okay. I wonder if it's going to make me do that from the beginning. Probably. Okay, so we'll skip that. Faster, it's actually making me. We have to run away. I can't see the bottom. If we fall, we'll die. What is this? It's ridiculously huge. Hanavi, focus on running. Don't stop. Okay, so we're going to save our teleport for that beam. Relax and use SAS. 
gigantic. But it seems to be just observing for now. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would yeah. like to think so. But you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuto's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone. We're so much faster. Okay, so here we go with this thing again. Oh, come on! Okay, so I need a spring to there? I wonder if that was because I got hit? Or... Just because there's this, let's see. What is? We'll save the hyper velocity for around there too. So I should just be able to avoid the little dudes. I wonder if I wasn't sprinting. Don't even think about taking that other down. That must be it. Okay, here we go. Hanabi, focus on running. Don't stop. Relax and use SAS. Oh. Gigantic. I need your help. But it seems to be just observing for now. Let's do it together. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? Okay, so that brought us like some space. So. You can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuto's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Go so drop your guard, everyone. No! Okay, so getting clipped. Getting clipped screwed me up. Whew. This is a weird challenge to add to a game like this, but... It's like a weird little Nier Automata type of, like, challenge. Suffice to say, my brain was not ready for this. Don't even think about taking that other down. We have to run away. I can't see the bottom. If we fall, we'll die. Uh huh. What is this? It's ridiculously huge. <laughs> it is ridiculously huge. Focus on running. Oh, come on! Ugh. That's so weird. So weird that I did so well on my first try, and now I'm just like, hmm. Well, because I was using teleport more, too. Start with the armor, then go to the teleport. Don't even think about taking that other down. We, we have to run away. I can't see the bottom. If we fall, we'll 
Yeah, maybe I'll use teleport first. What is it? Teleport. Then armor. Hanabi, then hyper speed. And teleport again. Let's try that. Relax and use SAS. The enemy is gigantic. It seems to be just observing for now. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would like to think so, but you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuito's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone. Alright, so do we want to use Gemma for the beam? You know what, let's try Gemma for the beam. I guess we'll try teleport. Like this now. one. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would like to think so, but you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuito's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone. I'll help. Thanks, Arashi. Oh shoot! 
Fly now. Fly now. Go ahead. Oh, you can't. <laughs> I hope y'all like that. We may have fallen, but at least it wasn't to our deaths. So this is the real Babe? That's right. We should be able to access all of Babe from here and shut it down as well. Oh, it looks like something's already processing. What's going on? Babe is implementing emergency procedures. Could it be because we made it this mm -mm. far? Hmm? I felt something just now. It felt like the red strings. Mm -mm. What's going on, Arashi? I can't believe it. It's totally empty. Huh? What do you mean, empty? I meant just what I said. All the data has been erased without a single trace. Feels vindictive. So you mean Babe shut down of its own accord? I like your wishful thinking, but something just doesn't seem right. Regardless, it doesn't look like Babe can do anything anymore. So is it safe to say we've managed to stop Togetsu's plan? I'd be lying if I said I was completely free of doubt. But at least at this point, it's clear that this computer is useless. The connection is restored. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, it's Wataru. The network blocker must be gone. That must mean Babe really is shut down. You shut down Babe? Fantastic! Another earthquake. I feel like it keeps getting stronger. Wataru, that quake. Yeah, another anomaly was observed at the Kunad Gate, and they're becoming more frequent. I'm glad we stopped Togetsu's plan, but I don't like that we lost all the research data. There could have been information on the Kunad Gate. Hmm. Hey, Kagero, Kyoka, is the research data safe somewhere else, or do you know someone who knows about it? It's very unlikely. The research of Red Strings spans over hundreds of years. It's a power filled with mystery to begin with. There probably isn't a single person who understands the whole thing. So we have no leads? Guys, there is someone. She's involved with Togetsu and is knowledgeable about the Red Strings. Who? Wakana. She fostered Kasane, who has the power of Red Strings. She must have had enough knowledge to be able to raise Kasane to control it. What are you saying? Yuhito's mom is dead. So we should go ask her directly. Directly? You can't be serious. By using the red strings? Yes. We don't seem to have any other options. Even still, I'm worried. It may damage Yuito's brain. Let's do it. If we don't do anything, the Kunad Gate will just keep expanding and bring the end of the world that much closer. I want to do everything I can, even if it doesn't work. Let's use the red strings. And we'll do everything in our power to help. So, what exactly are you going to do? If we're going to make this work, we need to keep strong emotions in check. Let's go to the Kunad Gate. I've jumped from there before, so I think it'll be easier to remember the feeling. <coughs> you want to recreate Excuse what me? happened when the gate opened? All right, let's head there. Before we go there, let's go back to the hideout.
Let's see where we're at. Still phase 10. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the highway. expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The red strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. All right. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So, should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear. But I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito. If you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red what? strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right. Let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. It's shaking. The Kunat gate is reacting. Do it. Take me to mother. Kasane, we'll be waiting for you.
If I had taken a wrong turn, you'll lose the honor of our family. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. You'll regret it. I'm ready. It's her. Oh shoot, more cutscenes? Mini Yuito! can't see me I'm going to find you right away uh, <laughs> mommy oh huh. who is that oh you're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day, I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the red strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-red strings to transfer data across time to red strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Huh? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunod Gate. Hmm. Uh, death? Why? Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Huh? All right. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Mommy? Where are you going? Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide and seek. It's all right. He's hiding right over there. <laughs> I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be all right. Then we'll go to the future. I'll be all right. If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere with that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay. Then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! Oh. Poor little dude. <laughs> He's really a toddler.
Get to a shelter. Hurry! You there. Where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh, my mommy is... Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood? That's how Alexandra Yo, talks no! sometimes. <laughs> That's why he has psychokinesis. Oh wait, just honey. Hmm. I made it, just in time. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. Oh. You see, Wakana, your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Yeah. Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. Oh, that's why he loves the Bakis. now it was Kasane she's the one who saved me back then oh right Kasane oh she brought Wakana it's the same as the vision babe showed us which means mom why are you here what's going on you're so <laughs> Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the red strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while. So let's give her some rest. 
If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was some... They were making others, but is that the same metamorph... It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bull... I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do... If neither New Himuka nor Toketsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to... The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky... It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside... You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many... So, the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon, too. That means no matter how much we... F That's so... awful. <laughs> How could they do... Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying... With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire... It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People... <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can... You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. Hmm. <laughs> so what's this? Now we're heading into. F okay, we're done with phase ten. The circumstances are okay. Unfortunate. I've been are playing this for ninety minutes. Okay? Yeah, but it's also so sudden. let's. I don't know what to say to her. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna leave that safe. That was a nice little spot. Nine thirty-five. It's been years. You must have a lot of things you want to talk to her about, right? Wow, that's a lot of uh, Bond episodes. What should I say to Mom when she wakes up? You know, there's fine. Let's do a few of these. Yuito, do you have a minute? What's the matter? Let's go to Misubi's. I'll do a few of these. Chat, I think I'm gonna have what a little bit of an early from? night. I know I said I'd be on to eleven, I but tell you before, because I, was I did not sleep well last night, me. so I'm probably gonna. Long time ago. Probably ten p.m. Right here, let mother. me mute myself while this. Wakana Sumeragi. My mom. Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while. But you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love, never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... The way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm. You're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. 
However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Just the person I wanted to see. Your lucky color for the day is red, and your lucky direction is south. Um, thanks for that. So, what should I do specifically? Eat red food and deploy south, probably. Should I make something for you? Oh, um, no thanks. I appreciate the thought. <laughs> That's cool. I'm gonna watch that one more time. You can talk to me about anything. Romantic issues or dreams you had last night? <laughs> okay. okay. I don't have anything right now, but you can come talk to me anytime you want to. Alright, Dad Killer. Hey, what do you Kagura. got for me? Oh, well, I've never been asked by a... <laughs> of course it is. I've, I've said a lot of things to you and dragged you around, but I... I still have mixed feelings. Yeah, I... F but that's... What and... Huh. Less... I could tell you now. You said something less boring, but... This place is pretty deserted. <laughs> you probably shouldn't believe everything someone like me says. I was lying. Okay. Well, you did say you wanted to understand me. I chose this place because I don't think it Don't hesitate to ask me whatever you want. Well, I do have something I've been wanting to ask you. You said you wanted to stop Togetsu for your family, right? Yeah. Everything I've worked for up till now was to stop Togetsu's plans, to protect the existence of my family, of my daughter. For 2,000 years, that's all I lived for. Well, I told you most of that already. Yeah, I understood that, and I don't doubt it at all. But there is still something I just don't understand. What's that? You already stopped Togetsu. You finally reached your goal. So what's wrong? Why do you still look so unsatisfied? Oh? <laughs> That's pretty sharp. You know, you're something, kid. Very innocent. Maybe too innocent. What? You're not still hiding something, are you? Well, everything I've told you up till now was definitely true. But if there is something, I guess it's that I'm burned out. You're burned out? What do you mean? It's been 2,000 years. My family, the world I know, they're all far in the past. I have nothing now. I don't feel anything. I'm totally empty inside. I achieved the only goal I had. Now I'm just remaining in this world with no real meaning. Kind of like a ghost. I know what it feels like to lose your family. I lost mine too. But how can you talk like that? You're the one who murdered my father. You're telling me that the person who killed my family is a burned out coward? I'm sorry if it makes you mad, but that's how I feel. You're the one who wanted to know. So, do you want to kill me now? <laughs> no, I don't. Thank you for being honest with me. I'll talk to you anytime. You beat the crap out of me in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay, then. That's enough serious talk. Time to head out to town. Wait, what? That was a quick turnaround. I can't believe you <laughs> want to go out now. 
I told you I'd take you somewhere less boring, didn't I? You need to pay attention. Um, you just told me not to believe what someone like you says. All right. Today I'll show you how real men have fun in Suo. This is gonna be fantastic. He said fun was escaping reality. But I think he might be enjoying himself just a little too much. Hmm. Yuito, are you tired? Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes. Baki gives me all the energy I need. Yeah, you're really weird. I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. I think we make a pretty good team. help me not only but huh oh sorry you don't have to tell me if you don't want to but wait I'll say it I have to I want to be brave Sugumi I want to be for I want to be your friend Huh? You want to be my friend? I've been thinking about it for a long time. You're so nice, and you listen to me, so I want to be your friend. I looked for the white flowers because I wanted to help you. I thought if I did, you'd be my friend. Oh, that's what you were trying to say when I asked you why you were so interested in that flower on Hiano Mountain. Yeah. I didn't lie then, but the main reason was because I wanted you to be my friend. So I asked if there was any other way I could help. I'll help you any way I can. You don't have to do that, you know. So you don't want to be my friend? What are you talking about? We're already friends. What? That's how I feel anyway. If it's okay with you, I want to be your friend. But, but, I can't talk normally, and I couldn't bring the flower back. I wasn't any help. Whether you're helping or not doesn't matter. Friends are friends. Besides, you've been talking normally for a while now. The way I talk isn't normal. I just blush and go quiet. I can't look people in the eyes. Listen. It's fine if that's normal for you, but what do you think is normal anyways? Being able to talk a lot without pausing. If you don't do that, people don't understand. That's not true. Even if you don't talk very much, I understand how you feel. Really? I mean, you found that flower's name from the little that I remembered, and you were going to climb Hiano Mountain by yourself. Seeing all that, there's no question how much you care about me. Anyone would agree. And who else but a friend would go through that much trouble? You think so? Yeah. Take plants, for example. They make you feel good just by being around and not talking, right? Yeah. So don't feel like you have to go to great lengths or change who you are just to please others. I think you should just be yourself, just as you are now. 
That's yeah. kind of strange. I've never thought I could be myself. I always wanted to be normal. I thought that if I was, I would be able to make friends besides Kagura. Like I said, I'm your friend. So stressing yourself out is the last thing I want you to do. Just like that white flower. You left it alone because you thought it would be happier living on the mountain. I think you should live the way that's easiest for you as well. That sounds a little pompous, though. No, it doesn't. I'm happy. Same here. I'm happy to call you my friend. Yeah. We're friends. Oh, right. About the flowers. I just thought of one I want to find. What? Go on. We couldn't bring back that silent snow melt before. So, I was thinking we could find a flower that's suited for this place. Is there one that would bloom inside the hideout? And I'm just asking as a friend, so... There are a lot. There's no direct sunlight inside the hideout, so... A flower that can live inside the shade is best. Like a spathophyllum. Spatho... what now? But we should take it outside to get some sun once in a while. It's hard for flowers to bloom without ever getting sunlight. Soil, too. If it's not the right soil for the flower, it will wilt. I know a good shop for soil. I'll take you there. Um, I was hoping for an easier one. Like one for beginners. There are no easy plants. They're all living things. Got it. So first, I should get serious about this. <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. She has no trouble talking about plants. She sees me as a friend too. I guess that means we're real friends now. There's no other way to put it. Okay, I'm ready to learn, Professor Sugumi. Sure, I'll start with the basics. Make sure you take notes. Huh? Right, okay. Um, sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Yeah, sure. Did I do something? I'm... Well, you... You should take care of... I know how you feel. I hope you know how I feel, too. Great. The power of I know how you feel, even if you don't say much. What about you, Gemma? What are you up to? Are you meditating? We're just gonna do all these Bond episodes. Hey, sure. I wanted to talk to you. Yes. Uh. I thought it would be best to talk somewhere private. So you want to get some field training? This isn't a good. All right, I don't want to do that. So you know what, Chad? We're gonna get ready to go to bed. <sighs> oh. Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Oh. She's not... I was... It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister, then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about 10 years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. 
All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. Really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. Mm. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before All right, what we do we got? Back. What do we got? Xenolith! Okay. Let's take care of this together. How have you been, sir? Stay on guard. <laughs> Life is good, just buddy. Them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her, but she is like a big sister sometimes. What? You look like you want to say something. Oh, it's nothing. <sighs> Let's go. I'm just going through some um, story sections of this before I go to oh, bed. Oh, uh, Sure. What is it? I did a lot of. I to thank you. I should know, buddy. It's yours strange, from high but whenever I talk to you, I feel relieved. Really? It's kind of like you're to me what Baki is to you. I wonder if I understand your feelings. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I um, yeah, usually I wait for my little dude like to go I to bed. Either, but I get what you're saying. And oh, cool. If you don't mind private, I don't know if you know how to private message, but send me a private message of who you are so I can be like, hey. Just curious, did you see I was? Did you must have seen from Facebook I was doing it? Because that's pretty much the only place I've got people's, but. Right now, if I back a oh my god, it's been a minute. Hope life's been good the last twenty third. <laughs> Hope life's been good the last twenty two years. Oh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, you know what? So I teach now. I I mean, price all that, but I teach in BPS, and so when I was doing um, remote learning. After we would finish, I'd just be playing, and I'd be like, you know, I bought all this equipment for this teaching thing. Why don't I give this a shot? 
And so I branched a little bit into YouTube and hasn't been. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. It hasn't been. It makes me think about it. 23 just because it turned. I don't know about you. I turned 40 this year. So I was like, oof. You know what? I still play D&D &D with them. We do it like every other Sunday. We just hop on Discord and we do it through there. <laughs> yeah, we do. Me. So right now it's uh it's me, John, Joe, Dan, and a couple other friends and Jim's daughter. And um Well, because we just started it, Jim's daughter wanted to do it. And so he's like, who wants to do it? <laughs> you should reach out to him because he's losing his mind. He just sent this G chat message. It was, let me see. I'm building the overload. I'm building the overworld. It's taking forever because we just finished our first dungeon. Your map is 128 by 128. I should make that smaller or not. Fuck it. Which, <laughs> yep, there it is. You know, it's funny. I feel like that's made a comeback with Twitch too a little bit. Yes. Yes, he did. In fact, I think it's almost published. I saw the Amazon link. I don't think it's out yet. Let me save this. But yeah, so with work just starting back up, I've been waking up at 5.50 in the morning. And so 10 o'clock feels a little bit different than it felt over the summer. So I was... Fair wash it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Which tournaments? The... Um... Oh, that must have been the Hunter's Arena. Is that the Hunter's Arena one where my kid was screaming and my wife was yelling in Tagalog? <laughs> or was that, um, or was it the Rocket League tur Yep. You know what? I haven't played it since then. So what happened was the little dude got sick. Little dude got sick like the week, the day before he was supposed to start school. And that Hunter's, the Hunter's Arena semifinals and finals were that weekend too. So I bounced out of that after... <laughs> and then he freaked out. And then he went, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. You know how it is. That's how it is with a three-year-old. He just turned three, too. But, um, so, yeah, I had to, I had to exit out, sadly, of the, of the finals because I was just exhausted. He had a day, like, he hasn't been sick in... Oh, God. He hasn't been sick in months and months. And then all of a sudden... Yeah, like 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in July. I've, it's happened a couple times. So, like, we get these chill nights like tonight where it's just me. And I'm like, whatever. I'll just repost a bunch of this stuff on YouTube. But it's fun. You know, like, um, I'm starting an esports club at my school. And so I'm like, do you guys want to start like a school stream? Do you guys want to do tournaments? What do we want to do? And they're all like, they are pumped for it. I don't know what games we're going to do yet. I know they want to do their dream. Their dream, I think, is that we have 100 televisions and 100 PlayStations and we do a, um, a Warzone tourney. So now we're actually back in person. It was remote for, you know, April to about April. Now I wake up and I drive in every morning. And it's... Pluses and minuses, right? Like a whole bunch of kids are doing a whole bunch better being back in person. 
But it's creeping them out because especially as a public school, like having Chromebooks in the building and doing like, like, yeah, we're doing Google Slides. What do you think we're going to do? Go back to pen and paper? Yeah, we're doing Pear Deck. Get, what do you think we're going to do? <laughs> like I get so much more. It's like, come on, Severian. I show them. I'm like, these Severian kids have been doing this for 10 years now. It's time you guys start. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm in BPS. I mean, sometimes I wear my BPS hoodie because I coach the track team. And I coach the, I, I coach the, well, I passed tense back when Westy was open. I, uh, I was coaching the cross country team and then the spring outdoor, indoor and outdoor track. So sometimes you still see me wearing those gears. Um, yeah. I mean, shocking, especially within a public school, right? It's like, remember they used to tell us, like, don't leave the building at 220? It's so true. Like, so I try to, like, you know, just keep stuff going as much as I can. So once, uh, once the little dude was born and my school closed, I bowed out of track for a while. But I figure keep it going with the gaming clubs. Keep it going. Like, like I figure with this one, I can organize field trips to PAX East. You know what? I was too, but I would go back. I would always go back for like bio club or chess or whatever it was. <laughs> but yeah, when they used to do those double whoppers or double, remember when they used to do that buy one, get one? I see half the school in there. I'm going to do this last conversation and then I'm going to uh, get ready for bed. Arashi hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. When Why was she that? To make it in the first place, she said it was to help people like me rest. It must have been like two years ago, she right? She also said I was just like someone. I know. I'll call that person up. Because I think it was like right it around like when my this. little dude was born. But if it helps get the issue out. Hey, Arashi. Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? Yeah. Oh, that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. But yeah, you that's why I didn't go to that one. Relax um, because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the force break program were meant for him. That's yeah. interesting. Or just break idea. out that old break out what that old Facebook. That? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed. I haven't seen Conley. Deal. I've seen the last time I saw any of Whenever those guys was like him, 2013. I do think you really need someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him. So what level are you remote teaching? Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But you'd be I shocked. By the way, you'd be shocked how many he teachers I've. Be shocked how many teachers I've what? found on Twitch ever since remote learning started. From you, so many people at the same time. Talk to me, Arashi. Fubuki. One of the teachers told us they aren't doing dances. I wonder if that's just because of. Force me to rest. So consider this payback. I mean, if it's just this year, last year, and it's because of COVID, that makes sense. Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, gotcha. Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. And your campus is still full I remote? I criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Huh. Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. You know what? It's kind of true. Like, In besides, words, you just like besides the big gut. ones, like homecoming Arashi. and prom, we really haven't. <laughs> just don't push I know, too right? Hard. I can't support you if you collapse. So in public like school, physically. homecoming and prom are pretty much Thank the only you. two that I have ever, like, chaperoned. Sorry. Maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's all right. That was surprisingly cathartic. Homecoming actually got pretty good turnout, but we tried to do a couple others. 
And it's true, like, big things like now, like, like talent show is always so huge. I feel a bit better now. No matter what, Great. talent show is always That's good. massive. So here's a token um, of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> And then people still do pretty good showing up for it's sports stuff. It's the light stuff, version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision, face and so online, they give you. Oh, I'm nice. Dizzy. <laughs> they are. Yes, that was awesome. How's that for relaxing, Yuito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Looks like you were. I hope on. we do one this year. I, I mean, I haven't been to one now in. I haven't done one now since what 2018. <laughs> yeah, so I was at an art school. When you know so what happened was I was at like a traditional public needed, school. Be a better soldier. Uh, uh, the roof was having all sorts of issues, and Boston decided to just shut it down, tear it down, and rebuild it rather than just fix the roof. <laughs> so. So I got another job at BPS at an art school, whereas like the kids are all dancers and visual artists. <laughs> no, the roof, the roof was all flooding, um, for years and years and years, and they just they put off the maintenance for so long that like classroom, like ceilings were just caving in with the with water. There was a uh, there was always a barrel outside the principal's office just filling with water. So it was disgusting and Boston should have done better by it. Like they just chose to ignore that for years and years. You have potential. However, um, you should not overdo it. So yeah, when it finally got to crisis yeah, point, they I'll were like, "Eh, screw it, we'll just shut it down." Now, who knows what and, you know, they haven't gotten anywhere near. But anyways, I did not start the story to complain. This, the point of the story was I ended up the year it closed. I was hired at the Arts Academy. And that was phenomenal. So it's like, you know, everybody in... It's like a Vogue school for the arts. So everybody's a dancer or um, a visual artist or a musician or singer. Or theater. So imagine... You know, a hundred theater kids, a hundred dancers. It was nuts. And so those talent shows, you know, like every week, every day was a talent show. Well, there was something different like every month. And it was, it was amazing to be a part of it. Sadly, they had a schedule change. And so the newest people in the building ended up getting, you know, cut. And then I went straight over to the Vogue school. And so now everybody's learning to be like a plumber, carpenter, or like graphic designer, or like like they all, or even like medical assistants, like like all decent folks where kids can make decent livings if they actually like finish the program. And so some of that, you know, it's like some of them do have jobs like right after school, like they go to the jobs that are related to it, and then some of them are just like little goofballs like us, and they're like, wait, there's a video game club? Let's go. I can do car. I can do all that stuff later. But, all right. So let's see. It's ten twelve. Let me see if I got any more of these little side stories I gotta get through. Let me talk to the dickhead. The dickhead can be like the last conversation of the night. I know. Yeah. It's true. Jimbo and I ended up, you heard the story, Jimbo and I ended up in Taiwan together to to when we were now 24. What? No? Hey, wait. He had been in, I had been, uh, oh God, here you go, full, full story. I had been dancing so Pittsburgh Ballet wanted? and he was teaching in China. Yeah, I remember. You I hurt myself. Where we left off, do you? I've had enough of that. And he's like, why don't you come over here? I'm like, sure, why not? That's where I'm... Wait, what did you just say? So I went to Occidental. He went to Pomona. And then Levitt went to Stanford. Yeah. And so we'd still see each other in college. Because we weren't that far apart. But I didn't expect you to just Plus, I dated a girl he liked, and it was all a thing. But anyways, um... I thought of your circumstances, I realized I was wrong. 
But yeah, we ended up both teaching in Taiwan together, just like, you know, little kids' English. Red, 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 touch well, your head, you blue, blue, like blue, blue, tie your shoe, that types of stuff. Did I really have it that hard? <laughs> and Will you accept me? that's how yeah, I actually met I accept. wifey. She was uh, Just to be clear, I'm only working there too. For what I was wrong about. It's true that you're a dim. Can't he be a? Speaking of this guy is such a dickhead. You said you were a dud. Do you actually know what that means? By this guy, I mean Sheeden, not It means not someone Jimbo. born without powers. Do you really understand that? You say it like it doesn't affect you. They have it harder than even civilians. They're powerless. <laughs> well, you know what? We're all good now, right? Wait, are you worried about me? We actually got married. We got no, married the same just, year. He he ended up doing his masters at University so of Chicago and met somebody. No matter what the official stance is, and then uh, without powers are he sent everybody the against. message he was getting married in Vegas. Sumeragi or not. And we all had to like send texts like, "Wait, no matter how much they is this real face, or is this?" And he's like, "You gotta have to I show up and find out." <laughs> I know that people won't look at me the same. And then that's I, I actually I was still there in Asia at that point because I was me. proposing. Not as a uh -huh. or as a sumeragi. And I was proposing, like, like I was proposing while stupid. he was getting married. You've had so many bad and then I was a couple months later, you look and so then self-assured. Here we are, all, and now here we all are with makes me think I can't whine about wives and problems. children and jobs. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm surprised you want to whine sometimes. It's not that I want to whine. There are things I'm not pleased about. Of course. I've worked so hard. But my real ability still isn't appreciated of course. in OSF. Is that even a, a yes? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think I know what it feels like to not be appreciated too. People don't see how hard I work because I'm a sumeragi. Just like you. Now hey, I wanted to ask, do you stream at all? Since you have the account, you know, since you know, obviously most of my people on Facebook don't have accounts on Twitch, but do you stream at all or do you just have the account so you can talk in chat? It's what I worked so long for, and what I'll keep working for. And follow people and stuff. Wow. You can be unexpectedly passionate. Because usually if you've got the Twitch account, Why you're at least somewhat into gaming as an adult, right? I just so what are you playing these you days? Cool guy. I didn't think we'd have anything in common. S stop it. We don't have anything in common. I'm not a pampered boy like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not alike she at all. Did. I mean, I'm not rude like you. What? Gotcha. Your advice before. Oh, that's right. I haven't thanked you yet. I had trouble listening, but once I put the insults aside, I realized it was pretty good advice. Thanks. Nice. It Is it the same username? I'm always studying battles to get better than I am now. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Will you give me more advice sometime? Sure. But I won't be so nice next time, so don't cry about it. <laughs> I'll be ready. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Same as on FB. Let's take a look. Stop furrowing your brow the moment you look at someone. I could say the same to you. That makes two of you us. You know what? Let me ask you a question since I got you on here. I'm about to get my first check from Twitch, keep climbing, and my goal my has been to only spend money, like on equipment and stuff. Obviously, I bought some of this stuff for online learning, but I was thinking. So I know the next big upgrade is going to be a camera. That's the camera is going to be the next big upgrade. Right now, I'm just using a Logitech C920. And, you know, I think it's fine. Obviously, I need to work on the lighting a little bit. But, and wifey wants me to get a green screen because she's sick of me showing off, like, the room. <laughs> but, but I was looking at cameras. Uh, so I was looking at the Sony. I was looking at just Sony's. I was looking at the A6000. And I was looking at the A6400. And... I was thinking about the 6400. So we are going to take a trip to the Philippines. Probably next summer. I might take the little man. It'll be the little man's first time there. So I might... You know, stay for like five or six weeks. 
just so he really gets to know his cousins and his aunts and his uncles, and he'll be old enough that like some of these memories might stick with him until the next time we make it there. But I was thinking about a, a camera like that, you know, besides just bringing my phone. Obviously, I have my phone. But I saw the 64. I saw the 6400 popping up for like streamers and vloggers. I was like, hmm, interesting. Maybe. Yeah, and that's the thing, because you always have your phone with you, right? And for Twitch, like, honestly, for Twitch, I mean, you can see, like, my square is so small. Like, it's, you know, it's, it's like, do I really need that much more? Mandy! It went great. I really didn't do anything. Just watch the Oh, right, because you're on your mentorship right now, right? Eight, so I'll be up at six. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling that too, Mandy. I'm definitely in stick footage and on your phone where they don't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. So you know what? I was toying with the idea of doing some. I was toying with the idea of doing some vlogging just on YouTube. Um, so like, I also have a boss, Mr. G account on YouTube where I post gaming footage, but I was thinking about starting to do some stuff with teaching, like, yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah. <laughs> So believe it or not, this, this will not shock you, but there are not many tenure vets in my building. And so one of them was like, you need to start doing like Dear Prudence letters, like go on the teacher's Reddit, read the stuff people are bitching about, and then just respond. Tell them how to survive in teaching <laughs> without burning out or like going insane. I was like, you know what? That's not a bad plan. I could, I could like do some videos about that. Um, but if I was really going to do, hold on. Yeah. So hold on a second. If I was really going to do some videos where one second, I know. So if I was actually going to do vlogging videos like that, then I'd want a better camera because I would want the 60 FPS. I'd want to do, I would definitely play around with the lighting. I'd probably actually do it in a different room. Um, and, you know, just because this, this is, like I said, this is fine when it's this big, <laughs> but it's not fine when it's, when it's really going for that full screen look is really, I got you. Okay. That's true. As long as people are interested in what we're saying. Well, as long as I'm not distracting people with random light sources behind me while I like, I don't want them, you know, because obviously when the, when that source is big, like you'd be able to see the back of my head talking to my monitor. So I definitely need a different background there. I would, might even, the green screen could be fun just because you could put a little classroom back there too or something. But yeah, I'm going to definitely see what you're doing over. Same thing. So when you, um, when you send me the message on Facebook, send me a link to the YouTube so I can subscribe to it and I can check out the stuff you do. It's like you, you just heard, I am interested in branching out a little bit. Right now I only do the video games three nights a week. I think I would go, well, that's not true. This week I did four because I was, I had unexpected freedom. But, um, I said I am, uh, we'll do the one more conversation. We're going to do the one. <laughs> you know what? When I posted my first Hades video, you get that stuff all the time though, right? When I play Mortal Kombat and people will like send hate messages after you beat them. 
Yes, it may be. Of course I'll help. Or for a while, like I posted, I posted a video the of the first time I beat Hades. And so the first During comment was like, not a big deal. You have to beat it like nine more times. <laughs> from I it's like, I dude, go I got a family and a kid. I don't get to play that much. She's like, oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> So My you want bad. To infiltrate a Ceyron research facility? <laughs> it's like, yes. I have found that, and even with those hate video, even when people post facility. those hate comments on Mortal okay. Kombat stuff, usually if I just tell the them one good thing they did that yes, like that messed me best. up a little bit, I guess they'll want to play involved, like practice rounds together or something. I'm glad you understand. Let's leave immediately. People just type. People just. Nice. How often do you do, how often, so let me ask you a question. With your, just with life, how often do you have to like run the, D, like you said you're running the campaigns, you're the GM. How often do you feel like you have, like how long does it take you to set your stuff up and like, like plus with, you know, just life stuff, being able to like run the game. I know it's kind of late to bring this up, but shouldn't we be hiding as we move so they don't notice us? <laughs> no, we chose an area with higher activity levels of others like last time, so I believe we will be okay. There's a chance they have strengthened security, but it should basically be deserted. I see. I guess normal people can't pass through here. You sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on me. Keep it up. Here we go. Oh, no. I just realized the whole time you've been watching, I haven't had any combat. It's all been, um, just the chat sessions. Hey, hey, everybody else, welcome to the channel. Every Saturday for about five hours. Pre made module, but some class. Okay, cool. So we started. Let me actually tell you. So we started using Nave, and we thought it would, the flexibility would be kind of fun, but we're gonna switch to OSE. Just because what you said, it's much easier to go back to the... Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. How sweet. Come on. If your body to burn the fire, Did you ever do the... So I can't care. remember if you did the D&D club. I don't even think you did. Uh, old school. Just basically what you're doing, like the old school books, as opposed to using like 5.0. And Mandy, just to talk to you for a second, Mandy. Um, even though it was just training and stuff, were you excited to be in there today? Like, as opposed to the job you were doing, right? And working nuts all hours. All right. Could do a fancy teleport. Put it over here. Fancy teleport? Nope. What if we drop? Oh, you died fast. Damn, I was not thinking about doing a combat run for the... I'm using this, Sugumi. Hey. Don't get burned! Don't get burned. That's a big blaze. Keep it up. What did he say? Yeah. 
funny vid to post you yeah <laughs> you know what there's still a bunch of stuff i need to do like i need to make i need to make an intro for the channel i need like i need to do a better banner background for the youtube i um do you need help i need to work on editing in general wait oh i see i still gotta do this Some fight help, yeah, of course. I said, I, I enjoy this. Like, I mean, obviously, like, I enjoy the time playing video games, but I enjoy, like, um, you can tell I like the chat. I like being, I like, I like doing this on Twitch. Um, But yeah, absolutely happy to look at your stuff too. And I am always willing to learn more about um, just doing this stuff better, cleaner. I need your help. Key card two. Oh good, there's a save point. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Zeno. So listen, Mandy, I'm sorry to do this. I know you just came in, but um since we both need to be awake <laughs> at like 6 a.m. <laughs> I think I'm gonna it's 10 30. That means we're headed towards like seven and a half hours of sleep. I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to save this game. Say goodnight. But I won't play this again. We're so close to the end now. Like, I think... I think if I play this again on Wednesday, when we come back, I'll probably be done with it. I thought that for tonight, but it's it's not. It's, it's like it goes to phase 12. Yes, thank you, Xenolith. And listen, Xenolith, I actually, I have a decently long break at work tomorrow. And YouTube does, you know, they don't care if we use YouTube. So give me the details. I'll check it out while I get some grading done. Yeah, I come on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. I'm thinking about switching the Sunday to Saturday. I'm going to talk to Wifey about that. I think Saturday is just the better Saturday. Now that summer's over, Saturday is probably a better day for both me and her. But um, actually, Mandy, is Saturday better for you than uh, is Saturday better than Sunday? Put that in rest mode. Like I said, I'll talk to the honey about it, and then I'll talk to you guys about it. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was awesome catching up. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. And everybody else, thank you for spending part of your Monday night with me. Like I said, I know JRPG is a little bit different than what we've been doing, but I really like this one. I like action RPG type stuff. And so, like, I've got that one. Then I'm probably going to do either Persona 5 Royal or some... Um, Whatchamacallit. Oh, Kenna. Kenna is next. Kenna and Deathloop. We're going to be rotating between the two of them just depending on mood. Gotcha. So, yeah, let me talk to Wifey because she, 
I think she wants me around more for watching the little guy on Sundays. So the only thing is we do more stuff on Saturdays. So we'll have to see. But anyways, all right, we'll talk about all this. Both days should be the answer, right? Just both of them. But anyways, be well, everyone. Good night. God bless. Take it easy. See you all on Wednesday. Oh, I forgot to raid anybody. We'll do a raid on Wednesday too, okay? Wednesday, pick someone you like and we'll raid out to somebody Wednesday night. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Let's do it. Let me just real quick, let me see who's on. It'll take me a second to pick someone to raid. Let's see, who do I know that's out there in need of some... Actually, everybody I know isn't on right now. Okay, never mind. We'll check on Wednesday. Later, everybody.